All right, finally we've got the tangent function. The tangent function is used when you know both the vertical and the horizontal components, the x and the y. Uh, you could find the hypotenuse just by using Pythagorean. And we started this whole collection of uh, YouTube videos uh, saying that the resultant would be equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. So there's the Pythagorean rule. But if we wanted to find this angle, and that angle was an unknown, and oftentimes that's a, uh, a question, as, as often as not, um, we need to use the tangent function, which is the observed relationship between the opposite side of the triangle, the side opposite the angle, divided by the side adjacent to the angle. So the angle itself is equal to the y divided by x. Take the inverse tangent of that. You could also find the, um, given the angle and the x value, you could find y if the tangent is, the angle is y over x, then uh, y is equal to x times the tangent of the angle. And conversely, x is equal to y divided by the tangent of the angle. So given x and y, you can find both the hypotenuse and the angle itself. The question sometimes becomes, which trig function do you know? Uh, and then which one do you use? Now let's see, we remember the uh, sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. The cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. The tangent of that angle is equal to opposite over adjacent. And finally, the resultant is equal to the square root of opposite squared plus adjacent squared. Well, I guess the easy rule is uh, you use whatever function, uh, and you want to use the, the function that uses what you're given. So if you're given this and this, and you're asked to find, so you got the adjacent side and the angle. I guess this doesn't really show up that well. Uh, if you're given the adjacent side and the angle, you would use the functions that have the adjacent side and the angle. So to find the hypotenuse, you would use the cosine. What if you wanted to use the opposite? Well, if you use, to find the opposite, you would use the tangent function, because you have the adjacent side and you have the angle. Well, we just found the, uh, the hypotenuse. Couldn't we use one of the other ones? Well, the answer is technically yes, but what if you made a mistake there? Now, if we use the sine function, we use the hypotenuse and the angle to find the opposite side. What if we made a mistake on the hypotenuse? We then compound our mistake again. So the basic rule of thumb is, which trig function to use, um, Whichever two you're given, you use the trig function that uses just the third. So to find the uh, uh, resultant, you wouldn't use Pythagorean. Well, wait a minute, we could find y and then use Pythagorean, yes, but if you make a mistake, then you multiply your mistake. So if you want to find the hypotenuse, you'd use the cosine function. If you want to find the opposite side of the um, triangle, you would use the tangent function. There you go. Good luck.